Welcome to our live training session number 18. We're going to be tuning an AP1 Honda S2000 using AM Infinity. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. We're going to find it has a bone stock F20C engine. It also has a stock header, stock exhaust with an upgraded test pipe. Now, in addition to this, it has an IMT supercharger kit that has an after cooler built in. It has ID 1050X injectors, a Walbro 255 liter per hour fuel pump, an AEM 0 to 100 PSI fuel pressure sensor, a three bar map sensor, and an AEM intake air temp sensor. We're going to find and we're going to configure all this now in our first part of our video here. So let's jump into our live training session so we can get started. Welcome to our live training session here with our supercharged Honda S2000. We're going to be tuning this on AEM Infinity. So we went over the details of this vehicle. Let's jump into our Infinity Tuner software so we can begin creating our base session file and get this process started. So moving into our Infinity Tuner, um, we find that I'm connected already. I have my key on in the vehicle. It's not running. We're going to find at the top here, it's going to be showing me status USB and Infinity Series 5. This is a 506 box. So it's going to be the plug and play S2000 setup that you can purchase right from AEM. So moving in here, we're going to go into file. We're going to go to import calibration data. Now this has a file that's in it already that will start and run it, but we're going to go through that process of creating the file from scratch so that we can see how that's going to go and you're able to replicate it on your vehicle. So go here to import calibration data. I'm going to go and move into my list here. I'm going to go here and we can see that I have my directory. Under my base sessions, we can see 96.1, 96.2, 96.3. In this case, the firmware we're running on this is 96.3. That's going to be the latest firmware from AEM. That's what's been already flashed to the box. So this box was purchased in the last few months, so this is the latest firmware that it ships with. We don't have to do a firmware rewrite on this. So we're going to find here, we're going to select the firmware that we're going to be using in our folder. And then we can go here and grab the particular box we're using. In this case, a 506 and 508. And then we're going to find in this directory here, all of the files that are available from AEM for base session files. Now, we're going to be looking here at the Honda S2000 2 liter V96.3. This is a uh, F20C or 2 liter engine in this S2000. It's an AP1. I'm going to be selecting this to begin my base session with. So I'll grab this file, click open, and now it's going to be importing the calibration data. This takes uh, about 30 seconds, 20 seconds, so we're going to be patient and let it go ahead and do the importation of the data. So what I'm doing right now is essentially putting the AEM base map, the stock base map for a naturally aspirated stock vehicle into the ECU. And then we're going to be modifying and go through that process. You can see it's almost done here. And we'll be patient, just let it finish up. Okay, so the fuel pump just primed right there. And uh, we find here it's showing the not connected state. Let's go and let me key off real quick. And then let's go here and key on real quick. And give it a second. It should reconnect here and show us our status. Um, sometimes it does this after we do the import calibration. And what I'll do here is actually unplug my USB cable from my laptop. And we'll give it a second here and then I will plug it back in. And sometimes we also need to do that as well to uh, get it to find the box. So we'll be patient here. It should find this. Um, there we go. I found it. So uh, I took a key cycle and unplugging the USB from my laptop, plugging it back in. So now we have our stock equivalent file in here and uh, we're ready to go through this process. So the first thing we're going to do is go through all the inputs and setup details so that we can get that out of the way first. Then we'll move into going into our tables and configuring our base calibration file for this vehicle. Let's jump up here into wizards. We're going to go down our list here from wizards into setup wizard. And this is going to be where we program all the details that are going to be pertinent for this car. So we'll start off here at the top under engine.